guys, thanks for stopping by once again. I'm sorry this is a little late getting out to you. I appreciate you guys stopping by whenever you're stopping by. And when I do get back to doing the premieres, I hope you guys will come when the premiere is live so we can get down in the live chat and have some good discussion on wristwatches. Yet again, my little cat Buddy is also here hanging out with me. Uh, wasn't intentional. It just seems like every time I start to record, he goes, hey, what you doing? And he comes over. What we're going to do today is talk about two watches uh, within that Speedmaster Tuesday realm. Uh, the Speedmaster Professional Moon Watch that I've had for about a month and my Speedmaster Professional Mark II. Uh, from 1972 that I've had for about a year. I love both of these watches, so let me preference this by saying they're both great. I like them both. If I had only the Speedmaster Moon Watch, I would want the Mark II. If I had only the Mark II, I would want the Moon Watch as well. So uh, I think they make a two-piece combo Speedmaster collection that's just awesome. Getting that out of the way, let's talk about some of the differences and similarities. And I should say, at the heart of it, these guys are more similar than they are different. They're almost the same watch. You have a manually wound movement. You have a tachometer scale chronograph function. The same dial with the only exception being the Mark II insignia. You have the same tachometer scale, although one is on the external bezel, one is internally under the crystal. 20 millimeter lug widths and both stainless steel cases. So a lot of similarities. Within those very similar watches, you have quite a few differences as well. I've already spoke on a couple. You have a tachometer scale that on the Moonwatch Professional, from the beginning all the way to current day, it is external. You have this external tachometer scale on a bezel that's fairly easily dinged, whereas on the Mark II, it is internal under the crystal on the outer track of the dial, protected by the case and the crystal from many, many problems. The second difference you will find immediately is that crystal. On my 1861, I have a Hesalite crystal, which is a bowed crystal, as opposed to the flat sapphire crystal on the Mark II. The case wrapping all the way to the upper edge of the Mark II crystal protecting the crystal and in turn the crystal protecting the tachometer scale. Whereas on the Moonwatch Professional, you have the exposed tachometer scale, you have the exposed bezel, you have the exposed, soft, bowed hesalite. Which is better for dings and stresses? I would say, like Omega believed, that the Mark II would take the win there. But as far as history goes and iconic status, obviously you cannot do much better than a hesalite Speedmaster. Uh, I've already mentioned the dial is basically the same dial. What is not the same is what is under the dial. In my 1972 version, you have an 861 manually wound movement. In my Moonwatch Professional from 2016, you have an 1861. These movements are inherently the same movement but updated for the 1861. Even though these two cases are both 42 millimeters, the Mark II is a symmetrical tourneau shaped case whereas the Moonwatch is a 40 millimeter case 
symmetrical with an added two millimeters on the drive side to protect the pushers and crown. This being the case, the crown is a little more difficult to access than on the Mark II, and I would say less enjoyable to activate. The Moon Watch is fine. It winds accurately. It feels good in the hands, but those crowns make it difficult to get, or the crown protector, I should say, makes it difficult to get around the crown itself. Whereas on the Mark II, you have more access to the crown and as a result, just an easier wind. As far as timekeeping of my Mark II, the timekeeping is pretty much as accurate as my 2016-1861, which I actually found very surprising, but is a testament to just how great the 861 movement is. The 861 should not be discounted just because it's old. The Speedmaster Professional accepts more straps more easily, and I should say accepts more NATO style straps much easier than the Mark II. The Mark II being a hidden lug torno case makes it a little difficult to run a NATO styled strap through the spring bars. In that aspect, I would definitely give the win to the uh, Speedmaster Professional Moonwatch, and as everyone knows, it is a strap monster. There's literally not a strap or bracelet that does not look fantastic on the Moonwatch. So, once again, the win has to go to the Professional. If I bang the Mark II, the tachometer scale, the bezel, the crystal, everything is more protected than the moon watch. And as a result, I give the nod to the Mark II in that aspect, whether it's a vintage version or a new version, they both have just better protection of the crystal, of the bezel, of that bezel insert, that tachometer scale. I would say the 1972 version Mark II bracelet is a more comfortable bracelet than the 2016-1861 bracelet. Do I have a favorite? Funny enough, no. I love the Moon Watch, and it's overly hyped for the reason that it is such a great watch. Would I pick it over the Mark II, having owned both? Absolutely not. I love the Mark II. I think the Mark II, in a lot of ways, is the superior watch. So, that's my little breakdown so far after about a month of one of the watches and about a year of the other. Let me know what you guys like better. Do you like the Mark II as opposed to the Moon Watch in all its variations? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next on the channel. And I hope you guys have a great evening and we'll just talk to you soon. Peace.